For years, Curator Vulnerability Manager component has been providing uh, the capability of doing very interesting searches in order for you to sort your vulnerabilities to decide what's the best strategy to deal with them. And there are some very nice safe searches in here, like uh, remediated uh, vulnerabilities, patch vulnerabilities, etc. And you can actually augment those by combining all these rich set of criteria uh, for searching for specific uh, uh, vulnerabilities. But you need to go there and, and look for it. And, and also in the case of uh, IPS virtual signature, we can help you with stopping vulnerabilities that not too many people take advantage of because they don't have an automated way uh, of doing this. You, in order for you to know whether your particular subnet, let's say I'm, I'm trying to protect this particular subnet, uh, you need to know whether uh, which, which is the IPS that is front-ending that subnet uh, before going into the router out, uh, so hmm, uh, and then you need to well w once I you know which which the IPS that you need to look for, you need to go into configuration monitor, and let's say I go uh, into this one as a Uniper IPS, and you need to see here on the you know the CVSs uh, that can be the signatures that stop the particular CVS. So this was not that easy to be done. The data was there, but it was not easy to be visualized. I have been given access to the QVN dashboard tool. So let me show you how it looks when, when you first go into it. This is the, the welcome dashboard that you get. So actually very nice because in a single page, you see the important data. For example, that IPS data is here, IPS protected data. These are the ones that the, the system knows that the topology tells it that there is an IPS in front and which signatures are actually uh, deploy to protect you against those. These are the exploited one ones. Uh, since I don't have anything patching here, just the difference between you know between these two and um, and this is really the ones that have not been patched and whose IPS that is in front of it before it gets to the internet does not have signatures deployed for protecting those. Very nice. You have other like uh, you know data from the from the uh, metadata that comes from any vulnerability, easy to exploit, high risk, you get those from there. But you get things like, you know, which of them do not have a patch, it's actually very useful. Which of them default, uh, uh, involves uh, using default password or the accessible files in, in the Windows case. And here you get a view for affected assets, so very nice, and you have a, a sophisticated visualization tool in here. Uh, but, uh, you get the early warnings, which, which I've, I've not uh, which new vulnerabilities have showed up since last time you patch and you can actually dig on those for example These are the ones that have been exploited. So if I click in here I can actually see the, these are actually two vulnerabilities that I that I exploited with meta exploit uh, With from Kali and you probably have seen me doing this in, in another video. So uh, where I exploited this and you can actually take the data right from here and say, well, you know, these, these two vulnerabilities, hmm, can I figure out if uh, there is a virtual patch for them right from here? So you can actually go ahead and say, well, I'm going to combine that criteria, which is uh, being exploited with uh, uh, another filter, which is uh, vulnerability has a virtual patch from vendor right here, and I'm going to select uh, 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 Juniper, right? And, and, and I click Add Filter and click Search and well, I, I, I cannot stop it with, with, uh, with that particular IPS so I need to know whether I, there is a patch for it. Well, strange that... well, but let's say that, you know, I cannot stop it with Juniper. Let me actually see if there is a patch available. Let me see if Big Fix can actually fix that. So I'm going to remove that, that filter and Go ahead and ask whether Big Fix can fix that. I be an endpoint manager patch and add that filter and do a search and see. Of course, you know Big Fix can actually fix that. But let me actually go back. I, I don't think it, I'm surprised uh, that I could not patch that. Let me actually do that search again and I'm going to actually go back to vulnerability 
because that that's a noble vulnerability I'm sure that they should have it Let's see what I did before oh I select you know network and security manager I should have selected the IPS and add that filter and uh, sure enough I mean uh, I can I can stop those uh, uh, with Juniper and actually I can click on the vulnerability metadata and I can see it from here and this is the well yeah everybody has a patch for that the virtual IPS IDS and I can look for Juniper here and see the the particular uh, signature that I need to deploy to stop that very nice so I can go back and here and take a look at this uh, visualization capability in which I can you know look for maybe look here for critical vulnerabilities and see well this is a windows vulnerability it's not been patched not remediated you know uh, uh, but it's, uh, it's protected by my IPS so you have, there's a way here for you to actually visualize uh, those vulnerabilities in a different way